the Thanksgiving door. Thanksgiving Day. Ed and Anne were home alone. And then, oh no, Anne burned the dinner. Anne felt plain awful because she had ruined Thanksgiving. She decided that she had to iron clothes, but Ed was hungry. Let's go see if that new restaurant down the street is open, Ed said. Oh, all right, said Anne but it won't be the same. The door to the New World Cafe was open. Hooray, said Ed. He quickly hung up their coats. Anne said, is this a Thanksgiving table decoration? It looks like a pilgrim and an Indian, but who's this dancing man with the beard? I'm not sure that we should be here, Ed. Nonsense, replied Ed. Their door was open. <clears throat> Many unhappy eyes peered through the kitchen door. This is horrible, Leon whispered. Who left the front door open? We can't have customers today. Our party will be ruined. Let's get rid of them, said Tatiana. We'll bang the pots together. The noise will scare them away. Grandmother had heard all that she could bear. She dropped her, <clears throat> she dropped her peeled potato in the pot and said, Enough! In old country, we bang pots as wolves at wolves, not hungry people. Today is Thanksgiving Day. Family cooks turkey as big as doghouse. But do we don't share? Bah! She shook her head. Grandmother's right, said Olga. Go get some chairs. Olga showed Anne and Ed to the best seats at the table. Aunt Sophia brought two more table settings. Grandmother said, Happy Thanksgiving. Welcome, welcome. We are glad you are here. And that's how Ed and Anne found themselves guests of honor at the family, as this family celebrated their first Thanksgiving in the New World Cafe. After dinner, Ed asked for a check, but everyone pretended not to understand. No, 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 we dance now, please stay. Anne and Ed had never heard of a family dancing on Thanksgiving, but they were having such a good time, they just said yes. Ed followed the men upstairs to help move tables out of the way. Anne stayed with the women and got to hold the new baby, Sonia. Uncle Carl struck up the band and the young dancers got things started. Soon, everyone joined in. Even Ed, who had never danced a lick in his life, kicked up his heels. Anne loved to dance. She knew all the steps. She taught everyone the conga. In no time at all, they were dancing in one huge conga line. What a hit. It was really late when Anne and Ed said their goodbyes. Grandmother gave Anne a table decoration. Papa and Ed traded hats. Anne gave her telephone number to Sonia's mother in case she ever needed a babysitter. They all said, thank you for making this such a very special Thanksgiving. When it was time to lock up the cafe, Papa could not get the front door to close. When he looked down, he found a raw potato jammed under the door. How did that stupid thing get there, he said. In the old country, Thanksgiving door is like happy heart, opened up big and wide. Potato, good for that, grandmother said. You're right. 
was all Papa said. When they got home, Anne lit the candle from the cafe and made tea. What are you most thankful for on this wonderful Thanksgiving, she asked. Ed thought. Many things crossed his mind, but what was he most thankful for? Well, he said, I guess I'd have to say, my dear, that I'm most thankful that you burned our dinner. Oh, Ed, she said, me too.